the scene opens to Kana working hard while his mother sews. Mama, these sharp stones and thorns make my foot pads hurt while I'm working. I'll make you some shoes to wear while you work. Kana's mom works hard to make him a pair of sturdy shoes. Here, Kana, these slippers will guide you and there's room to grow. The next day, Kana goes to the stream bank to get some water, but stops to admire his shoes. I really love the slippers my mom made me. Oh, what's this? It's silky clay. This can easily be molded into shapes. Kana takes the clay to show his mom. Mama, look what I found at the stream bank. I can use this clay to build you a pretty house. That would be lovely, Kana. Kana works hard to build his mom a pretty house, while other villagers start to take notice. Could you build me a pretty house from your bricks? I would love to. Kana ends up building houses, towers, and bridges all over the land. He also built a grand house for his future bride. It is now Kana's wedding day. Look at these raggedy old slippers. What kind of bridegroom are you with those old slips on your feet? I guess they do look pretty beat up. Maybe I should get rid of them. Kana takes the slippers off and drops them in the stream. What he doesn't notice is that they end up clogging up the dam. One of the elephants from the village unplugs the slippers and brings them back to Kana. Hey Kana, I think these slippers are yours. I found them in the stream and I thought I should return them. Thank you for returning my slippers. I'll be sure to keep a better eye on them. Some time passes and his wife and Kana have their first tiger cub. Everyone comes to get their best wishes. I wish for playfulness. I wish for beauty. I wish for strength. I wish for wisdom. I wish the baby becomes father would never wear junky old slippers. Due to the monkey's comment, Kana decides to send his slippers to his uncle in a distant village. Why, these old, frayed slippers have been worn out by hard work. I'm sure my sister would be proud of them. I should take them back to Kana, as I'm sure they are important to him. Kana's uncle shows up at his house with the slippers. Kana, I have brought you a gift. Thank you, let me see what it is. My slippers, you brought them back to me? I know you will always want to remember how far you have come and the good work you have done when you see these slippers, how they show the years. The next morning, Kana is out in the garden with the sun. I am back where I started from. What am I going to do with these old slippers? Why not build the slippers a special house of their own? They can be seen and remembered for their place in your life, and you can wear magnificent new ones. So that is what Kana did. He built a beautiful fountain to house the slippers. Every once in a while, he smiles fondly at the raggedy old slippers.